Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to our RimWorld Riddle of Steel Tribal Nomad playthrough. When we last left off, good job Dragonfly, we were attempting to rescue people. I find it hilarious, this person we have just rescued. Oh good god. We have just rescued is actually quite possibly about to die, but also good job bandaging both the heart and the right leg pretty much instantly. Dragonfly, calm yourself down. I mean, yeah, I get it. You're, you're in pretty bad shape, but we we have to take care of these people before they all die. Because who was our other doctor again? Uh, let's see here. Dragonfly, owl, owl. Why are you not helping with the uh, tenderizing of these people? Also, it'd be really nice if we could actually recruit some people here, because then we would actually, you know, be able to get some work done here. Sound like something was getting killed over here. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, you, you get yourself a little, little something to eat. You probably deserve it after all the work you've done. You should probably tend to yourself as well. Hold on, before you do anything else, tend to yourself. Make sure you do not explode in, you know, a fiery cesspit of death and despair. And I look at this and I say to myself, you know what, we've got a lot of, a lot of problems as far as uh, actually acquiring, uh, or as far as like our food situation is concerned. So that, that does, does bother me. Cool chunks, we can make some stuff like this, we can make some cool clothing, which I guess we're eventually going to want to do. Do forever, as long as, now what? Light. Owl, what are you doing? Handle this light, maybe? I guess the idea here is anything that's blighted, we need to harvest. Oh, lordy. Alright, cut out the blight. Hopefully, someone will do that in a timely fashion. I mean, we do have some problems here. And yeah, most of you are probably fine. Probably. Maybe. It is entirely possible that everyone will be fine eventually. I'm going to try to set out too many orders, just uh, get things done here. I mean, this is already almost full again, so we're probably going to need to expand this, so maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do something like this, and like this, and... Ah, what the heck. We, we don't really need any more smoke leaf, do we? Let's, uh, just go ahead and delete that. And yeah, we'll kind of turn this into a storage area. And add more doors so that people can reverse it with relative ease. As is our nature. But of course, we don't want to get bogged down and stuck here. We do eventually need to move on. But uh, I guess that's not going to happen as long as, uh... oh good, now we've got beavers here. But yeah, we've got mole here, we've got, I mean, seems to be okay. We've got badger, dragonfly. I, I think everyone is going to, now what? Okay, we have people starving, that's never a good sign means clearly we need to uh, need to start hunting. So, all right, if that's all the beavers we've got, then not bad. All right, so we we need to get work done here because work is clearly not get. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a dead spider. Well, I would rather have the spider be dead than have us be dead. So, it's all good. Uh, cat, what are you doing? You're harvesting wild stuff. Good. I kind of would have preferred it if you hauled that back. Especially because all these beavers are gonna... We're gonna get, like, alpha beaver revenge, aren't we? Like, I can see this and Cat's gonna get mauled to death or something. Oh, Lord. Also, is someone actually gonna... Like, finish building this? Like, I'll, I'll let Snake have his joint, but after that, let's... I should probably kill that turkey too. 
All right. Stone cutting, butchering. It's all there. We need, we just need this now so we actually start cooking food before it all rots away. That's, that's very important. In fact, speaking of, I guess probably a good idea. Might as well get a smoke pit here while we're at it. This, this, get all this stuff. That way we can have two people cooking. We can work on get, no, you're eating raw meat, you idiots. Finish the job. No, snake. I don't care that you're hungry. Finish the goddamn job. Then you can eat because someone will make cook food and it'll be great. It'll be done. Oh, Lord. Some people, huh? Oh, boy. No, no, no. Go ahead and fuel the stove so that we can actually get some work done here. Okay, good stuff. All right, we'll have smoked meal there. We'll have, but make pemmican first. Do until you have, I don't know. Let's say a 700, 100, and then smoked meat do until you have also 800, I guess. And same thing with this. It'll all balance out eventually, probably, hopefully. Okay, I'd actually prefer, like, yeah. Instead of eating raw food, like, go butcher things, go cook things. Who's our best chef? Uh, dudley, 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 dudley. That would be Owl. So Owl, or at least, you know, you're the best chef who's currently doing stuff, so let's get some work done. Let's, uh, let's get some actual real food so people stop whining about eating, like, bad, uncooked meat and stuff. That's just good business, really. Good table manners. It's all there. Okay, good. Also, let's, let's hunt some things because we do, of course, want to make sure, I mean, maybe just killing a couple of stegosaurs, that'll provide us with plenty of meat. Bunch of dead animals and stuff here to haul away eventually. It'll all come together. Or at least that's my dream that this whole colony will come together at some point in the not too distant future. And that we shall all recover and live lives of joy and prosperity and whatever else. Egg skin. Oh yeah, we've got boars. I guess I would explain where that's coming from. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Everything, why does snake need treatment? What's snake's problem? He's got a couple of cuts. Those will heal up on their own, probably, maybe. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Oh God, and there goes all our food. We had tons of meat. Why, why did this happen? Well, the obvious answer is because no one's doing their damned job, but you know. All right, there we go. Great, now someone's binging on smoke leaf because that's totally what we need it right now. All right. Oh, you were hungry, so you're just gonna get high instead of actually... These people make me sick, really. They truly do. Well, they don't really, but... Okay, Mole, what is your problem? Are you hungry? Why do you mean this is an ugly barrack? I mean, it is kind of ugly with all the blood, but... Uh... Mole, if you're hungry, go eat something. Like, come on. Eat something and stop whining about life. Like, sometimes you gotta be the change you wanna see in the world, man. You can't just wait for people to be the change for you. Honestly. Some people, huh? Okay, psychic drone. Wonderful. Everything is going exactly as I have foreseen. Oh, right! Uh, I don't- I can't even pronounce your name, but on our list of, uh, where is my list? I had a list around here somewhere and I've lost it already. Uh, let's see here. All right, seeing as this is a female, you will now be known as Tigress. We'll call you Bronze Tigress, why not? Because that sounds cool. You haven't really done anything to earn that name yet, but uh, you will. Actually, what are you good at, by the by? Not much. But you know you're you, you've got cl you got heart. That's uh, that's probably good enough. Here, equip this steel longsword and then get back to whatever else it was you were doing. How's this boar spear? I, I suppose I should actually be, you know, like testing these weapons and getting a, a feel for like what their actual thing is. I just remember somewhere, yeah, like swords are apparently really good on damage. Good. I like it. 
Oh boy, there goes all our meat. Well, at least once winter arrives. Actually, once winter arrives, that's gonna be a real problem, isn't it? We're gonna have to keep people warm somehow. I wonder if this counts as a source of heat. I have to assume it does. This has no fuel, this has some fuel. Eh. I mean, it should all balance out eventually. Why is it awful? Like, it's not that bad. I mean, I guess it's kind of bad, but it, it's not terrible. So here, let's uh, let's put some plant pots in here. Because why not, I guess? Basically my, uh, my logic for everything. I mean, people can walk over this stuff. This will at least make it, uh, make it seem nicer. Slightly, possibly. Oh, a peace talk opportunity. With the Broken Shadows. That is a badass name. But I don't really want to wander that far out of my way, considering the fact that the plan is ultimately to murder, deaf, kill every single, every single other tribe that exists here. I know we have an animal pulsar around here somewhere. Also, I, I see you, chair. I see you hiding. An excellent light machine gun. The Locust. You know, I should get someone to be equipped with that. This has a reasonable range, doesn't it? What is its range? Let's find out. Uh, that's its cooldown. Its range is 25.9 compared to, let's see, what is... Yeah, compared to, like, say, this recurve bow right here, which is... Got a range of 16. Okay, so yeah, the LMG is better in that regard. Do we have anyone who's like got a not particularly great weapon? Well, Badger's busy binging on smoke leaf. Well, it's better than some stuff he could be binging on, I guess. This poor short bow has a range of only 15, so yeah, I'm gonna switch to this excellent LMG that has the locust on it. Can't read the art while it's equipped. Oh wait, yes I can. Weapon bears a representation of a villager surrounded by by ants. Okay, or aunts, however you want to pronounce that. The work suggests the concept of nearness. There is a bee behind the focal point, and there is no locust anywhere in the painting, and yet it's called... Well, that's, uh... That makes a lot of sense right there. Could you maybe consider hauling some of this stuff in? Possibly. Can I get you to wear this? Yeah, and you just wear it right on over what you're already wearing. And the suspended trousers. And these wooden bracers. And these wooden socks. This is a great bow. Great bow has a range of 20. Alright. Good enough. I and mean, we've got a reasonable assortment of weapons here, so I do like that much. What I would like a lot more, though, is if you actually... Yeah, like if... Okay, good. We actually are getting stuff done at long last. But then again, I mean, I, I guess I can understand this is going to be... It's going to be a progress, or a process, rather. And it's going to be a process that's going to take a while to get on top of. Because, you know, half the colony is injured and are likely to remain that way. Okay, before you sew, go ahead and, uh... There we go. Now what? Okay, now Hawk is having a major break risk. Wonderful. Don't worry. Everything will balance out eventually. Probably, maybe. Oh, come on. Stop failing the job, man. No, no, Badger. Finish the job, then you can go to- there you go. Alright, now we can get rid of these. These are heavy, but the bed rolls are light. And thus, life will be much better. Oh good, we've actually got- We've got everything working out more or less as we would want it, though it is still- It's still rather messy. Also, just gonna adjust my microphone here. I feel it's been kind of far away this entire recording so far. Alright. I mean, I should have put a modifier to make recruiting people easier, mostly because I feel that, like, thematically, this is going to be a, a campaign where, or a playthrough where, like, having a lot of these guys is going to 
you know, be better for us. 90%, 74%, 59%, I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult to get some of these people on. I also kind of feel bad for uh, Shog here because he's gay and we don't have any uh, mods that kind of make those sorts of relations like less difficult to deal with because in vanilla rim world he he's gay but he doesn't like he's not aware i guess if that makes any sense like straight characters will keep hitting on gay characters gay characters will keep hitting on straight characters unless that's changed i know there's mods that like make the kind of relationship dynamics with that sort of thing like so they actually do figure out it's like hey this guy's you know not into me so maybe i should you know kind of like, stop trying to hit on them, instead of just constantly going on. And the only reason that's like a big deal to me that I'm like drawing attention to now is because when colonists keep hitting on each other and keep rejecting one another, they start getting angry, and oh good god. We need like some kind of fire break zone, don't we? Let's do that now, while I'm thinking about it. Like, we're not really doing anything with, uh, with all of this, uh, steel that we presumably have lying around. So let's, I don't know, would like a four, four tiles be enough? Let's say five just to be safe. And yeah, we'll kind of, kind of have like a fire break zone here, here-ish. I don't think we have enough steel to make this happen, and plus everyone's busy anyway, but we'll we'll see. Alright, let's also expand the home zone, maybe a little bit, just to encompass kind of what we have in mind here. I suppose I should have like a fire break zone over here as well. I mean, like we've mostly got, yeah, like things are mostly good, but they're not terribly good. So that we do have that to consider, I guess. Yeah. But then again, what do I real well I, I care because like everything in this base is flammable and oh my god, you people have not managed to stop the blade at all. Okay, we have to just like purge the entire field now. I mean I'm I'm not exactly surprised. Also I'm gonna get rid of this. What what's the point of that? I'm not doing anything with it is what's going on there. Yeah, we are. We're building a reasonable fire break zone. Of course, I don't know why I'm going through all this effort because we're going to be leaving soon enough. Actually, we might want to. We might want to just leave now, actually. As I think about it. And my, my thought process behind that is that if we leave now. Then, well, one, we don't have to deal with this. Oh, we have an Aurora. Beautiful. All right, that's good. Oh, uh, now we're going to be cleaning all this dirt, huh? Uh, some people. Anyway, yeah, I mean, like, what? I, gu I guess we're giving our characters a chance to level up a little bit, but beyond that, there's not a terribly great reason for like any of this. Okay, we really don't need that to be in our home zone. Oh good, we also have a random timber wolf. Wouldn't be a Oh god, it's gonna circle around here, isn't it? Alright, we might wanna just uh Oh good, we actually have some rain coming in. But just to be safe, we might wanna Oh, I can't actually put any flooring down there because it's all like marsh or something. All right, okay, never mind. Everything's good. I mean, I should have known because the game generally generates storms if there's a big fire. I think that's for performance reasons, seeing as if there's massive fires, especially on slower machines, it'll cause some some difficulties. All right, all is well, and that makes me happy. And speaking of happiness, well, we've, yeah, we've got a lot of meat here. We could have more. 
You know what, I'm gonna set both of these to be hunted, and assuming that our colonists do not die as a result, we will be ready to move, and I think what I'm gonna do is, when we wrap this episode up, which will be soon, I'm gonna like cut away until we're ready to go attack these guys, then I guess we'll attack these guys, and then we'll kind of just wander on, and just generally see how things go. Yeah, so, all right. What was that? Something happened there. Oh, we must have got like a revenge or something, and then it just, it died before I could really do anything, so. It all worked out. I mean, it's in no immediate danger. Still no immediate danger. And now we've got Stegosaurus Revenge. Okay, cat, you might want to run. Oh, and we also have heat stroke related problems. Oh good. We have oh god, cat, run. <laughs> run for your life, man. And by man I mean Oh, you are a male. Okay. Well that's good. I guess. I don't know why it's particularly better or worse than anything else, but it's alright. And yeah, we've got the resources, we're mining stuff, we're sort of sort of, but not really actually getting anything harvested here. We won't sow until we get rid of the blight. Which is spreading, I should point out. The blight is spreading, and I don't like that. Oh good, I can actually Oh, cargo pods. Please be sawing good. It is alpaca wool, which is actually not terrible. Also, hold on a second, there's a pack of animals around here somewhere. A lot of wargs, too. Nothing wrong with that. That's actually really good for us. And do I want to set a bunch of hunting orders for these? Probably, why not? Just to be safe. There we go, we're butchering things, we're cooking things. Okay, there we go. Might actually want to maybe raise raise things a little bit there, and I suppose it also wouldn't help or wouldn't hurt. To, uh, oh no, no, I don't want you to rebuild that bed, you silly man. Hmm. Well, overall things are going well. Actually, I think if I stop setting people orders, we might actually someday. Someday I actually start hauling this stuff in. Uh, before you rest, maybe haul some of this stuff if you don't mind. You'll never haul, that's right. And... Mole, you can haul these berries. Owl, you're smoking some meat so you're actually doing useful work. Alright. It's all coming together. And that is... that's the good thing really in life makes me happy. Also, I figure now is as good a time as any to wrap things up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.